David and Georgia were formerly a married couple. They were married for five years and then got divorced, 20 years back. Both are successful in their own fields of work, David is a construction magnet and Georgia is an art gallery owner. The common thing between them, other than their daughter Lily is. They both hate each other. Lily is their only daughter, she is becoming a lawyer. She calls both of them and invites them to her graduation ceremony. Georgia and David do not see eye to eye and as usual start to fight and argue with each other. Lily plans to go to Bali on a short vacation with her fellow graduate friend Ren. Her parents come to drop them at the airport, as usual David and Georgia start arguing with each other. As their daughter leaves for Bali, they promise, never to see each other again. While in Bali, both the girls are snorkeling off the coast, and as they come out of water they find the tour boat has left them behind. First they try to swim and reach the coast but soon start getting exhausted. To their good luck they see a boat, and are rescued by a local young guy named, Ged. Lily falls for him immediately and they start spending their time with each other. Ged is a seaweed farmer, and Lily who is in love with him now wants to spend her life with him in Bali giving up her legal career. She sends a mail to both her parents telling them about her plans of getting married and settling in Bali. David is the first to read the mail, and immediately calls Georgia about the situation, they plan to fly to Bali as a team and somehow convince Lily that she is rushing into marriage and making the same mistake they made 25 years ago. The pilot of the flight turns out to be Georgia's boyfriend Paul, who has arranged to fly this flight to surprise her. And he will return to join Georgia in Bali after few days. Reaching Bali, on the way to Ged's village, the two of them plan they will give verbal blessing to Lily and Ged but secretly sabotage the wedding from within. Once they reach, they are welcomed by Lily and her friend. All of them take a bus to the village. On the way they meet Ged. Reaching Ged's family home they meet Ged's parents, sister and his extended family. Ged gets a chance to confess his love for Lily to her father David, so he tells him, he is really sorry, it's all happening so quickly. To this David says, he is happy for both of them, but he knows his daughter well, she is an ambitious girl, she will leave him in couple of months and come back home. David informs Georgia what he has told Ged, and that might change his mind and now he may now have second thoughts for his wedding. When Lily asks Ged, what he and her father were talking about, he tells her, David was simply asking him about seaweed farming. He tells her, how lucky she is as her parents love her so much. Later in the evening, reaching the hotel Georgia and David are given rooms next to each other which they don't like at all. David cannot sleep in the night so he goes to the hotel bar to have a drink. Ren catches David by the bar. He tells her, she is the one responsible for all of this. Ren tells him, she has never seen Lily so happy. And asks him, what happened between him and Georgia. David says when you fall in love all things are unreal, but when you marry things get real and so does life. He tells her when they were young and newly married, they used to go by this lakeside place and they loved it. One day this place came up for sale, so they bought it and started building a house there. But to pay the debt he got himself busy in different jobs and so started having little time with each other. Slowly they were different people. One day they had this huge fight, and next day they got the news that the house caught fire and burnt down. And exactly after three weeks to it, they were divorced. He finishes his drink, say Ren good night, and goes to his room. Next day before the ring ceremony David tells Georgia that the rings are with Ged's niece and she needs to steal it from her to stop the ceremony. She manages to steal the rings from the girl's bag and in the ceremony when the girl is asked about the rings by Ged, they get to know the rings are lost. This leads to postponing of the ceremony, but by the look on David's face, Ged knows he was the one behind this. The same evening while walking in the market Ged tells David, he can replace new rings but it is better if he gives back the original ones. He hasn't told anything to Lily, but if she comes to know that it was her parents' plan to sabotage their relationship, they will certainly lose her for sure. In the night returning to the hotel David and Georgia start a fight discussing Lily's wedding, but start fighting about their own married life and divorce. 
how they lost love and respect for each other. Next morning they go to Ged Seaweed Farm, where they competitively compete with each other. Later that day they attend the ring ceremony. Ged and Lily has got new rings to celebrate the occasion. In evening they go to a local club where the two couples compete each other, dance and get drunk. Next morning to their surprise, David and Georgia wake up in Georgia's room and in the same bed. But to their horror, they hear knocks on the door by Georgia's boyfriend Paul, who has come to Bali to surprise her. They quickly change their rooms and somehow manage the situation. Later in the day all of them go for sightseeing. At the temple, Paul proposes Georgia but before she could say anything he gets bitten by a snake. He is admitted to the hospital for further treatment. Georgia tells everybody that Paul asked her to marry him, hearing this Lily gets upset, she tells her mom though Paul is nice and kind guy but she is not at her best with him. Being loved is not the same as loving someone, and so in couple of years she will feel she's not happy with him. Ged, Lily and David leave Georgia back at the hospital, and go to an island for excursion. At the hospital Georgia realizes, if Lily thinks Ged is right for him, she has all the right to be with him. Just like she has all the rights to be with Paul. But suddenly she remembers her pact with David to break the couple and as David is with them, he might plan something to break them up. She now wants Lily and Ged to be together so she leaves Paul in the hospital and travels to the island. She meets everyone on the island. Strolling the island they all realize their boat is drifting away and they are stuck there, unless someone comes to pick them up. In the night when Georgia tells Lily to get matchsticks from her bag, Lily discovers her lost rings in Georgia's bag. She gets furious on her parents' behavior and why they are not respecting her decision. She tells them they are trying to rewrite their own mistake, which they think, they did 25 years back. Georgia says, if she had someone to tell her or make her understand 25 years ago, she would have not made the mistake. Lily thinks, she is her mother's biggest mistake. But David accepts Georgia's biggest mistake was choosing him. That night Georgia tells David, he was not her mistake. It was she, who was losing herself being home all day and felt she would not recognize her own self someday, so she opted for divorce and that was her mistake. Next morning, watching the sea and talking about their lakeside house, David tells Georgia, that he still owns that place, and he never had the courage to sell. He still goes there time to time, remembering their old days they look into each other's eyes and kiss but suddenly realize their mistake and shake hands like old friends. Lily and Ged, come to tell them they have made arrangements to go back. They get on their rides to get out of the island. Reaching the hotel, Georgia is received by her boyfriend who is back from hospital. Paul proposes her again, but it is again postponed by a headbutt he gives her. Everybody gets ready for the marriage ceremony, during which Ged asks David and Georgia, for the blessings, only then he will marry Lily, otherwise there will be no marriage. David gets up and says, they don't need anyone's blessings, all they need is each other, and gives them a go-ahead. Lily and Ged finally get married. Georgia goes to see Paul and tells him she cannot marry him. On their last day on the island, they meet the newly married couple and family to say goodbyes. While sitting in the ferry, David is happy as Georgia has said no to Paul. He tells Georgia, someday they should come to spend some time on this island, to which she says, why save the good stuff for later? Both look and smile at each other. Hold each other's hand and jump from the ferry. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to watch latest and interesting movies. And please write in comments. Movies you want to see.